I believe every problem has a reaction and a solution and the reason why these shootings are increasing um, is to increase the security measures of military installations meaning they want to have a new type of identification uh, measures for the soldiers and they've been pushing for this for a long time they've been uh, basically our governor is demanding new security measures for soldiers on military bases uh, because of the uh, increase in the recent shootings so there's always a problem a reaction and a solution and they're always uh, provided by uh, people who are psychopaths by nature the reason why I say this is because uh, our local news here has been talking about this TWIC program. It's a uh, security measure. Uh, basically, it's this card here, and it has like this, I guess, RFID chip in it, or some type of chip. And this is the, the uh, TWIC card that's uh, given by Department of Homeland Security and TSA. Um, and it's been coming under fire lately. Uh, I'll leave a link to this so you guys can read the whole article. This is another article I'll leave for you guys. It's a biometric ID card and it's uh, the ID card that's currently be being uh, put under scrutiny. I'll leave links to all this stuff so you guys can read if you want. And this is from the horse's mouth. So you can read that if you'd like. Although I don't recommend you click on anything that has this unless you want your uh, computer going through. So we had uh, 10 killed. This is from September 16, 2013. Then in uh, right down the street we had two dead after Norfolk Naval shooting. That was just uh, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Most recently the Fort Hood shooting happening a, a lot more frequent now and uh, I just believe that they're going to uh, implement something for the soldiers and what they do for uh, what they're doing right now is they're doing it for um, sex offenders they are uh, they have GPS tracking on, on uh, certain sex offenders in certain states and a lot of people are like well that's good you know but what what always ends up happening is is they start off with just a few people um, and when people find that that's okay They'll do a few more people. I think the military's next. Like I said, there's always a reason for these things. Um, and then finally, the civilians will have to get on board. This is just to kind of show you a history. These shootings didn't used to happen this frequent. Uh, you had one in 90 for two in 95, and then you didn't have any more for another 13 years. Uh, then you had one in 2008. You had three in 2009. One in 2010, or two in 2011, four in 2012, four in 2013, and so far two this year. Uh, but in the last six months, we've had three. So if if we do the average, uh, we'll have we'll have probably six within a 12-month period. It didn't start picking up until September 2008. Now it's happening more and more frequently, and. and uh, surprise surprise we're getting this from NBC and this has been in the works for a long time they've been talking about this for a while I'll leave links to all this stuff but uh, I want to point out that 
people are already getting used to using their personal tracking device as a payment method for these fast food businesses. In fact, I saw a sign for this outside the Wendy's that they were now accepting payments with your phone. Download the app. And uh, of course you've got the credit card reader that plugs right into it. Um, and I started off with the IBM commercial. Uh, I want to remind everybody that IBM uh, pivotal role in the Holocaust, all six phases, identification, expulsion from society, confiscation, ghettoization, deportation, and even extermination. So their history of tagging people is not good. Uh, and I definitely don't want to be a part of that. I want to point some other stuff out. Lucent Technologies is located at 666 Fifth Avenue. This is their RFID reader and tag kit. 666. The logo is the red dragon eating its own tail. Um, Orbit One, I've already done this a million times, but I'll point out a few things. Numerax, the number of his name. Um, defense tracking aerospace uh, and it is using a satellite to communicate with low earth uh, orbit satellites to pinpoint the location of these RFIDs <sighs> so everything is just kinda lining up and people are gonna say you know yeah we need these solutions we need to keep our military men and women safe so if that's what it takes that's what it takes so like usual the people will beg for their own uh, further enslavement thanks for listening